So, what's up guys, I am Ruskag and today we are doing a little pickup video. Actually, it's a huge pickup video. Um, I haven't done one on this channel for a while because I have a French channel too. So, my last two pickup videos were on there if you want to check it out if you speak French or they are subtitled in English. So, you can check that out. But today, uh, my biggest um, pickup in pretty much my last year is in this video and let's get that out of the way first what I bought at GameStop just because once you enter generation one of my favorite game one of my favorite series actually at the moment I really love to play so nothing much to say about it everyone knows Monster Hunter if you don't check it out you are gonna love this and next I bought this uh, Mega Man X Command Mission an RPG on the PlayStation 2 that I did not own I don't have the manual Oops, the other side I don't have the manual so that sucks I'll try to get it on eBay or something but I'm always happy to get new game Whoa! It's okay, it's alive. <laughs> but I'm always happy to get new game for my PS2, especially RPGs. And next, the jewel of this pickup. Actually, it's not really a jewel, but my first ever Sega Saturn with this little thing here. I'll try to show it to the camera. A backup Sega Saturn cartridge. I have no idea what this is, but that came with the the, the console. I've ordered um, the controller and the wire because the person was selling only this alone with a couple game. I'm gonna show here. Wipe out. Oh, those those boxes. Wipe out. I think it's like a racing game. Yeah, yeah, it's a racing game. Not my, not my type of game, but who cares? It came with the the, the console. This box is a little messed up. But shell shock. Fucking glare. Get it, go away. Shell shock. Uh, it's a tank game. Nothing special there again. Um, unfortunately, came with this. So I was happy to have Tomb Raider on Saturn. But inside the box, it's Daytona USA. Another racing game, I think, that I don't give a shit about. So I have the box for Tomb Raider, not the game, and I have the game of Daytona USA and not the box. But the game that I really wanted on this was Rayman. Because Rayman was really good, a really good platformer. So at least that's one good game for this console that I know I have because I don't know any game for the Saturn. I have never collected for this console before. Because I did not add the console and I never cared about it because there's no reason. I just never cared about it. But now that I have it, I want to collect for it. But every fucking game are like $100 and above, especially for the RPGs. I don't have the manual for this one. It sucks because this one is kind of rare. But Shinobi... Shinobi Legion. This, this. I'll try to show it. Nah, the other way around. Shit. Shinobi. I think it's. Uh, um, you can check Happy Console Gamer. I think he talked about this game before. But it's kind of a beat em up platformer thing. Earthward and Jim. That's a really good game. I don't know if it's the same one on s that Sega Genesis ad, but the one on Sega Genesis was really good. So I hope this one is good too. 
I have not played yet uh, any of those games because, like I said, I don't have my controller yet. And my power button got stuck already. But, yeah, this control, this this controller, yeah, this console need a clean up. I'm going to do this during my weekend. And next is actually what makes this lot really nice. Sorry if there's a lot of noise there, but it's in a bag. But a guy on a group was selling Nintendo 64. Oh no, wait. Two. Uh, oh no, wait. Three. This one is the jungle green. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Three. Nintendo 64. One with the expansion pack, the jungle green. Comes with the wire and controller. One controller, actually. But I have already a lot of those. I'm going to keep the green one. And I'm going to sell or trade one of those. And for the last one, I'm going to try to open it and paint it and make a custom one, white and red, bottom red, the top white with the button red. It's going to look amazing if I can do it properly. I made it once with my NES and my NES controller and it looked great. Um, I don't have them now but anyways and it came with a lot of game first shadow man I have never heard of that game before but I checked just before the video I checked about this game and I've heard it's a really good hidden gem on the 64 so that's gonna go in my collection Mario Tennis Diddy Kong Racing I did not add that game, so I, I'm I'm glad I I finally have that. Not really hard to find, but Tarzan. Don't know about this game. Mickey Speedway USA. About Tarzan, I don't know anything. I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't know anything about the game, so I have to check that out. Banjo Kazooie, and these sticker, by the way, are on almost all of those cartridge. I'm gonna take them off and clean the cartridge because they're full of glue. But other than that, they're all in pretty good condition. So Banjo Kazooie, what what's the name of this game? Maze: The Dark Age. Um, that's a fighting game. Nothing really special about that. A look-alike of. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Donkey Kong 64, already have that too. Golden Eye, everyone knows about Golden Eye. Zelda, Karina of Time. A lot of games that I already have, so I'm gonna trade. One that I did not have, Miss Pac Man on 64. I did not even know there was a Miss Pac Man on 64. Another Mario 64. Wave Racer 64, Mortal Kombat 4, one of the shittiest game ever, Batman Beyond, The Return of the Joker, the series uh, movie was great, but not the game. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire, already have that. Another one of Mickey Speedway's USA. Clay Fighter 63 and a third. Whatever how you say that. 180 degree time fly. What's that? Oh, 1080. No. In the camera I read time flies, but that's 1080. 1080 degree. Yeah. Mario 64 again. Carmageddon, a uh, kind of twisted metal game, I think. That's a car game for sure. I've never played. I think it's a twisted metal clone. And the hardest game ever in the universe. 
on the 64 Star Wars Racer Episode 1. That's the last of the game. So that that's a lot of game actually. I'm gonna try to show this without dropping everything. That's one stack. And yeah. Here's the second stack. Yay. Um I'm gonna keep what I don't already have in the 64. Uh, means pretty much I think four game. So maybe four games gonna go in my collection. The rest is gonna go on my website or for trade. Well, my website is for sale or for trade. It's gonna go on there. So for my French speaking friend, go if you. I'm gonna put the link anyways, but for my French speaking friend, go check it out. For English people, if you need something on the site, just contact me via my email and I can ship it to you. Um, for, uh, I'm not sure now, I think it's $4. I can ship it for $4, I think. Around that. Uh, $4 Canadian, so it's pretty much like $3 US. So. That's it for this pickup. Um, I'm really happy. A big lot of 64 game, a Sega Saturn, a couple game, and two great RPGs. So, yay! I'm. G if you look behind me, it's pretty much full. There's yeah. How, how can I show this? Here, no, no, here, yeah. This shelf is empty. That's gonna be for my Saturn. But other than that, everything is pretty much packed up right now on my shelf. You don't see it right here. God, it's hard. Everything is reversed. But right here, this shelf looks empty, but it's not actually. There's book, strategy guide, and books related to gaming are there. So yeah, I'm going to need a new new thing for my game or a bigger one I don't know um, I don't have much space in this room eh. or maybe I'm gonna change my setup but you're gonna know at the same time as I do what happened I'm gonna make a video actually soon about my setup my recording I have my two monitor here my PC uh, my gaming setup is my games are here, my gaming setup is there. So, yeah. I'm gonna show this soon in a video with a better camera than that. Because that's actually, for people that don't know, um, I've said it way back on my channel, but I'm actually recording my videos with a PS3 um, camera. So. Way. I got a better camera, but I still don't know how to convert my video from my camera to DVDs onto my computer, so I have to find that out. So if someone can help me, contact me, please. So anyway, guys, that's it for this week, uh, this month, actually. I'm going to be more active on this channel uh, from now on. I had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life and I was working a lot on my French channel cuz um, it's a we're a group of French youtuber and I'm gonna come back more on this channel for now on so check it out um, send me a message of what you wanna see let's plays uh, reviews unboxing and whatever and I will see you in the next video bye